So in this presentation, we are going to see how to interface the Red Pitaya with MATLAB. So this is using the SCPI server. So let's start. So first of all, let's see what is SCPI. So SCPI is the acronym for Standard Commands for Programmable Instruments. Uh, so this was first released in 1990s. So what the SCPI does it, it defines a standard for uh, syntax and commands that is used to control uh, programmable test and measurement devices. So uh, like uh, for example, we have the uh, you know 3D CNC machine. So in CNC machines, we use G and M codes to uh, G and uh, M codes like to command the machine, right? So the same way for uh, uh, test and measurement equipments, we use the SCPI commands to control it. So these are basically ASCII based uh, textual strings uh, which are sent over the uh, physical layer that is the IEEE 488.1 standard. So it introduced uh, generic commands such as configure and measure that could be used with any instrument. So we are going to uh, make use of these commands to you know control the red pitaya using MATLAB. So let's move on. So before you start with the MATLAB, you need to have the uh, instrument control toolbox. So make sure you install it before you uh, move ahead with MATLAB and then you can also uh, run codes in the live script option. So I'm going to run codes in the live script option of MATLAB. So first head on to the Red Pitaya's home page as usual and then click on the development button and then here you will see an option called SCPI server. So click on it. And then you need to start the SCPI server as it says now it's not running. So click on run. So once you click on run, uh, the SCPI server will start running and it will display the IP address and the port number in which it's active. So this SCPI server can receive commands from this port number via whichever application you are using, whether it's Python or uh, MATLAB. So in this, uh, now we'll be looking at MATLAB. So now uh, we'll open MATLAB and then we'll see the output also. So here, as you can see, the Red Pitaya is powered and it's running now. This is the MATLAB code. So this is the IP address that it, it displayed and the port number that is uh, the IP address of the SCPA server from which it will be receiving the commands. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to create a TCP IP object. So this is where we created TCP IP OBJ TCP IP object. And then we assign it to the IP address and the port number of the SCPA server that is running in the Red Pitaya. So, you know, the IP address is assigned here and the port number. So all these details are visible. So once we, we are done with that, we need to open the connection with Red Pitaya. That can be done using the command fopen. So using the fopen command, we uh, supply this TCP IP object to open it. And then I have written a simple code here. So this code is written to toggle these two LEDs, that is the LED uh, 1 and uh, 2. So I have written a while loop here, simple while loop. So first of all, I have initialized i as 10. Then while i is greater than 0, uh, I will toggle the these two LEDs with a delay that is pause 1. So first of all, we will send this command of uh, digital pin uh, LED 1 uh, is on and then LED 2 is off wait for one second, pause one second and then uh, toggle the position that is LED 1 is off and then LED 2 is on that is what we'll, and pause for one second and then decrement i. So one by one it will decrement after one second. So finally since when the loop exits the LED 2 will be uh, low, we are uh, LED 2 will be high so we are turning off the LED. So now let us see how this MATLAB code runs. Now so we can click on the run button here you will see that the LED starts toggling as uh, the value of i decrements and the loop part executes. So initialized as i equal to 10 and then you can see that the loop decrements 9, 8, 7 and then the LEDs keep toggling here in this loop part. First LED 1 is on and LED 2 is off. LED 1 is off and LED 2 is on with one second interval. So up to 10 number it will go and then it just turns off. So you can write any code in MATLAB and uh, run it. So this is an interactive way to visualize using MATLAB. So next uh, let us look at how to uh, get the analog input into MATLAB via the same SCPI server. So these are the connections. 
so we connect the potentiometer to the analog input 3 of the red pit ir and then the other two ends to plus v vcc 3.3 volt and then uh, the ground so these are the connections now let's see now let's see how to acquire analog input in matlab so first of all as usual you need to start the scpi server and then the server is running in this ip address now uh, once we are done with this uh, we can go with the matlab code so i have the matlab code open here and then to view it i have the camera also open here as you can see the potentiometer is connected to the red pit ir so it's connected to the uh, analog input 3 of the red pit ir the potentiometer so the varying voltage can be read from this uh, analog input pin 3 so again uh, the tcp ip object we declare it as a the red pit ir tcp ip object so this is the ip address of the tcp ip server and the port and then uh, we open the uh, connection with red pit ir uh, while passing this tcp ip object to this f open command then i declare is uh, i initialize is 20 so we are going to take 20 sample voltages 20 samples of the voltage of the analog input pin 3 so i assign the voltage read through this analog input pin to uh, this volts 3 variable so string to uh, you know uh, string to number uh, i am using this function to convert the uh, voltage to number and then i'm while querying the analog input pin uh, a i n 3 analog input pin 3 via the tcp ip object so we are uh, raising this query so then the result will get the voltage I am passing for one second. That is delaying for one second. Then I equal to I minus one, decreasing, uh, decrementing the I value. So this loop will run for twenty uh, times uh, as the value of I keeps on decrementing. Then finally uh, close the connection. So now let's run it. Let's run it and let's check the output. So as you can see, uh, when I uh, rotate this potentiometer, the voltage will keep decreasing as the I value decreases. Yeah. So now it's zero volt. So we'll we'll uh, we'll check this again. So I'll run it. Now it's uh, zero volt. Now as I keep uh, rotating this, the voltage will increase. You can see point six, point nine one volt, one point two, then one point five, one point seven. 1.9, 2.5, then it went up to 3. So this is how you can read uh, analog voltages through MATLAB. So next, uh, let us look at uh, the signal acquisition part. So we can acquire signals uh, through the red pit I also into MATLAB. So these are the connections. Just connect the alternating source to input one, uh, channel one of the red pit I. So this is how. Yeah, uh, it should look so. Uh, as you can see, the channel one's probe I have connected to the output of uh, uh, IC triple five timers A stable multi vibrator mode. So uh, in the left side you can see the pulse generator circuit uh, where you have the A stable output here, pulsating output, and that output I have connected to channel one and then ground to ground using the probe. Now let's see how we can acquire this in MATLAB. So for the data acquisition with MATLAB. First, we have to connect the input AC source to channel one. So now let's see the uh, let's view the uh, input signal using the oscilloscope uh, utility of red pit IR. Now, as you can see, the input signal is a square wave that I have generated using an IC triple five timer. So uh, this is working perfectly. So now once we can uh, once we confirm that the Input trigger that is the input trigger for the function is working perfectly. We can continue with the MATLAB. So again, as usual, you'll have to go to development and start with the SCPI server. We have the same IP address 169.254.184.93 at port 5000. Now let's open MATLAB. So in MATLAB we have the same. Uh, Code here for connecting to the red pit IR and you know uh, opening it as the TCP or IP object, same stuff. And then uh, we have some additional code here. We have the 
code for uh, acquired uh, acquiring the signal this here we set the sampling rate that's the decimation value and then here we set the trigger level trigger level as zero and then in this part uh, uh, you know by default it will be for attenuation it will be L, uh, low voltage LV so here uh, since we are dealing with the high voltage is more than one volt we explicitly mention it as HV so this part alone we need to take care and then we have the uh, TCP IP object again for uh, triggering set trigger delay to zero samples and then trigger delay zero samples and then we start the acquisition the ACQ start this command will start the acquisition. We wait for one second for the triggering to start, and then once we have the trigger in the channel one, uh, you know, we'll start acquiring the data, and then finally after acquiring the data, we'll plot we'll plot the signal in the MATLAB. Uh, in the y in the y-axis we'll have the voltage, and in the x-axis we'll have the number of samples. Now let's run this code. So click on run. So you can see uh, this one, it has run all this part. Now it's running this part. This symbol shows that it's running. Yeah. So now once this, this code is run, we can see that the uh, acquire the signal up to 16,000 samples, it is able to acquire the signal with the voltage levels. So we are using 9 volt battery in IC triple phase. So it's coming around 8 point something. So yeah, this is the falling edge of the square wave that we generated using IC triple five. So this is how the MATLAB code for the signal acquisition works. So yeah, uh, that's it for uh, this presentation. Thanks for watching.